up in a city where hip hop especially was just done in such a unique and raw way. There's so much of that DNA in me as an artist. It just feels very natural to tell some of those stories in a place that has inspired so many of them. Left your heart behind when I laid eyes and said I'm up and done. The young just living on the back away from Okay, here we go. writing the record. I basically was telling this story of being in a relationship that you're happy with this person and you're settled, but there's just a side of you that wants to still experience you. And then taking that risk and it not being a payoff. And I continuously draw from this youthful perspective and these like childhood, teenage, adolescent moments. So that was like a landscape in my head already. Whenever I'm in the process of making the music, I always have a visual reference just as a writer. Pretty much every phase that I can think of growing up, there was something that was always attracting me to King's Sweet Market. King's is very unique. When I got my first car and I wanted rims on it, that's where I went. When I needed a stereo system, that's where I went. Being in high school and everyone kind of parking and, and chilling and that's where you like met guys and um, it's just like sort of a cultural hub of, of my neighborhood. So it's a really, really great space and visually I just thought there was so much amazing about the space. It was just an idea that came to me just doing like sort of musical-esque dance over the top free-flowing journey throughout the flea market. For me, you know, just finding a happy medium of performance and highlighting the space was sort of, you know, my goal to walk out feeling like we did that, and I do think we did that. and the performance of the video and the way that I wanted to convey that performance was always to have sort of a sense of humor and dramatize and more in a quintessential jazz type movement. And then, you know, I actually saw Bun in a hotel. He's a friend of mine and I'm forever a UGK fan and he is such an innovative artist and you know he does a lot of things that push the boundaries. And we just happened to be um, at the same place at the same time on a week staying in the same hotel and uh, ran into each other in the lobby and she kind of like caught me and she was like hey. It would be so awesome if you were in it. And I, I remember specifically saying like yeah you know like we should do like a time type of movement and like doing it for him in the lobby of this hotel and he was like sure I wasn't planned <laughs> I just kind of slowly put one foot in the other and was like well what if we do a little movement and he you know is known for that move he's been doing it forever but Bun actually had some choreography to learn which was Pretty impressive that he learned it so fast without mirrors and just like rocked it. As you know, I've known her over the years for a long time, watched her mature into an incredible recording artist and performer. I think she gives one of the best live shows out there right now. Most people in her position would probably go for a more high-end type of look, but being from Houston, I mean, when you walk in and you see King's Flea Market, you know you're in Houston. And I think it's just ill that she's representing the city like this, and in one of the realest ways you can represent the city. I'd love if the, the audience can leave 
seeing the video, having a really good perspective of the space in Houston and understanding and appreciating all of the cultural references. And I also think that it should be taken with a little sense of humor. I think just having Bun B do a two-step should speak for itself. <laughs>